Stop this video right now and tell me what can make Frieza cry. Let me know in the comment section below your answer to this. Go ahead and pause the video because today we're gonna see what can make Frieza cry in a Dragon Ball fan animation. Don't be shy, go ahead and drop your comment. While you're down there, don't forget to hit like on the video. Make my puppy happy, he loves it when people like the video. But today we're here with Dragon Ball World official page. This channel drops a lot of hour to two hour long continuous Dragon Ball fan animations. A lot of the time they take animations from other YouTubers and edit them into like a movie movie experience and sometimes they have original animations of their own. Today I got recommended this by YouTube, Dragon Ball Super 2 Next Saga 2023 Tears of Black Frieza and I just had to click it. Tears of Black Frieza? Come on man. I want to know what makes Frieza cry. So let's go ahead and jump into Nani? an hour and 41 minutes. Um... You know what? Because I love you guys, I'm gonna jump into this and watch it. Give you guys the lowdown, breakdown, let you guys know what's going on. Because this is a big boy, a big hefty boy. Frieza invades again, comes back down to Earth and completely wastes Goku to the point that we don't get to see that fight. That fight was too epic for us to even witness it. So I would say that more than likely Black Frieza ended up cornering and ambushing Goku, taking him down relatively quickly. And that is when Orange Piccolo and Gohan end up showing up on the field. I feel like Orange Piccolo in and of itself would be enough to basically take down Frieza, at least in this form, stand a good chance. But no, we get Gohan and I feel awesome. We get another Gohan animated transformation scene into Beast. And I didn't even see this one coming to be honest with you. So this was definitely a treat. <laughs> Beast Gohan faces off against Frieza and they are just attacking at each other at full force, fast paced fighting. This is by far some of the coolest visuals that we have gotten in a while from Dragon Ball World. Usually they use clips from other people's channels, but in this instance, I think this is all originally made because it has no credit to anybody. So this is looking legit and Beast Gohan, the contrast between him and Frieza, Black Frieza, it just looks really cool when they're fighting. Beast Gohan has the steady upper hand the entire time of this fight he is going the distance with Frieza there really is nothing holding him back besides maybe himself maybe plot armor because Frieza actually ends up getting behind his blind spot completely evading any of his attacks and basically skewers him right then and there leaving the stage open for Piccolo Goku who seems to be miraculously back and also Vegeta to do something about this うん、危ない、危ない。今のはちょっと焦りましたよ。約束でしたよね。地獄上の恐怖を見せてあげる。またか。すごい。あなたたちどうよ。この私もまだまだ成長しているということを忘れなく。Now we have the existence of Ultra Vegito on the field, and this is Ultra Vegito in animated format. I mean, who cares about the planet? The planet's on fire, it doesn't mean anything. I guess nobody really gives a shit as long as we win, but who cares about the planet? The planet is literally dying right now. It is on fire, it is just gone and Ultra Vegito, I would say he's probably the last person you want to put as the savior role in a story like this. He is just in here for fun and he's having a great time whooping on Black Frieza and uh, I think this is the moment, oh yep this is it right here. This is 
is not Black Frieza so much as crying, but straight up dying. He is gone. He is evaporated. But Ultra Vegito did not see this coming. He did not see that Frieza actually has been training his ass off and ends up transforming into a full power version of himself. This is enough to cause another epic cataclysmic apocalyptic wave of energy and key and explosion to basically put the earth in even more peril. I mean, there's really nobody left alive on it. But uh, yeah, this is a terrible situation because Ultra Vegito is a little shaken up, but he's excited to jump in here and kick some more Frieza ass. <laughs> I guess not. I guess, um, yeah, it's uh, the same thing that always happens with Potara. <laughs> After Frieza reenacts the events of the end of the Granola arc, Gohan has finally had enough. He comes back to again miraculously and transforms into... A beast Gohan that's super 100% full power, more like a Super Saiyan 10, I guess, looking very similar to that. And after that, it's over. And we go into a new animation about Broly, another animation about Goku. I mean, this video even has one about Jiren. So, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna cover all that because those are completely separate to the original animation and the story that I was trying to tell. But you basically got the point. This is Dragon Ball Super 2, Next Saga 2023, Tears of Black Frieza. This is going to be Blackscape, signing off. Take care, guys. Subscribe for more content.